Okay. Is it just me, or is the forest getting lighter to you, too? I think... I think we're almost there. Hmm. I think we might be getting near the edge of it. That's good. As far as I know, the border is right on the other side of these trees. So, whatever it is that's waiting for us there, we should come across it pretty soon. How are you holding up? Been a long journey. <laughs> but you haven't complained at all. At least not seriously. <laughs> no. I'm not letting you ride on my back. I mean, unless you really want it. But I'm pretty sure you're joking, aren't you? <laughs> Trying to get better at picking up on that. <sighs> right. Good. Because... Uh. Oh no. On the contrary. The issue is that... I think I'd enjoy it a little too much. Ah... <laughs> uh. I'm really grateful that you came along on this journey with me, you know. Even if it was just for your help in all the fights we've been in, I'd be grateful. But it is so much more than that. Your companionship has kept me warm and happy on what would have been the loneliest nights. And as much as I like to think I can hold my own, you saved me. You saved my life. On more than one occasion, I'm indebted to you forever. <laughs> no, I'm not going soft on you. Oh, maybe, but oh no, it's that I just fear that whatever we're about to face, whatever there is at the border that's kept these realms divided for so long. It'll probably be our greatest challenge yet. <sighs> now, I know you can handle yourself. Obviously. <laughs> you handle yourself better than I do. You've proven that time and again. But still, there's... I don't know what to prepare for. No idea. So, um... <sighs> yes. Okay. I'm scared. Not for me, but for you. Because I care. More than I ever thought I would about someone. The connection we have. That's is not something I thought I'd have to think about. I've never had to worry about someone else before. At least not for a long, long time. In fact, I... I've been thinking about this a lot. For the past few nights. The closer we get to the border, the more I've thought about it, and, well, now's the time. So, I think you should go. I think you should travel back home on your own. I know. I know we've come a long, long way. And it was a dangerous journey. But think about it. It will be safer you doing it on your own than it was with me. You're stealthier and smarter. And you're not anybody's main target. And even if you do get into trouble, you're better than me at getting out of it. You'll be fine. Um... 
been quite serious. Yeah. I'm not joking. I wouldn't joke about this. I've been happy to travel with you so far. In a land that we're both mostly familiar with. But... Crossing the border with you... There are just too many unknowns. There's too much potential danger I can't account for. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk you. The thought of risking your life on some stupid fool's errand like this has been keeping me up at night. I can't. I can't do it. I... Yeah. I'd forgotten that we'd already had this conversation. Right at the start of our journey. Before we set out together. <laughs> what was it you said? I was... Worried about how dangerous the border would be. You said... Something like... What if there's nothing actually there? That was it, wasn't it? <sighs> yeah. Mm. You had me pretty convinced at the time. I guess. The anxiety has set back in. And all these weeks I've had to think about it. The fear of the unknown. It's strong. Tell me, how confident are you, actually, that there won't be anything dangerous at the border? Were you just saying that so I'd give in and bring you with me, completely bullshitting it? Or do you actually think that? Do you truly think it's possible that after all these decades, centuries, uh, the only thing keeping people away from the border is fear. Not of anything in particular, but of what might be. It can't be that simple, can it? <sighs> yeah. Fuck. I guess it has worked on me. It's working right now. The fear. That fear is what's making me say all this. <sighs> when we were... <laughs> when we were hundreds of miles away from the border, it was so much easier not to be afraid. Much, much easier to believe that what you're saying might actually be true. But now I'm faced with it. I don't know. It's harder to trick myself into thinking that there might truly be nothing there at all. Just seems so unlikely. I don't know how you tricked me into believing it in the first place. about it, the more I realise how stupid it was to bring you along. Uh, now I feel like I'm stuck with you. You know, if I just left you in your little house, I probably would have. I mean, I'd have missed you for a few days, maybe a week. Maybe longer. But I think I could have moved on. Yeah. Now, though. <laughs> Not a chance. If we parted ways, I'd be. But it might still be for the best. I don't know. What would be worse? 
heading into the great unknown together, and possibly dying side by side, or going on myself, and possibly dying, but at least with the knowledge that you're safe, even if I'll never see you again. Gods, what kind of choice is that? What would you pick? Actually, no, don't tell me. I can guess. It's the first one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I thought as much. That's very... Uh, <laughs> it's romantic, isn't it? In a stupid way. Like the old legends. I think some people might say that dying side by side isn't worth it for a romantic gesture, but those people aren't werewolves or changelings. They haven't been driven to the ends of the earth together by a society that shuns them. So, they wouldn't understand. But I still can't. I still can't get over the fear of you dying. How do I get over that? <sighs> Be strong. <sighs> I thought I was. I mean, I thought the idea of making you turn back for your own good not for mine. I thought that was the strong choice. Maybe what I need is to let myself be weak for once. What do you think? Should I give in? Should I give in to you? given me my answer. Oh, I think I need a little more just to be certain. side. Whatever it is we're about to do. What was it about that kiss? I mean, it felt different. It really did something to me. I don't know. It's as though, as soon as it started, the choice I needed to make was obvious. Obviously, you were going to come with me. I felt like an idiot for even considering the alternative. <laughs> Why would I? Why would I want you to go? Even if there's a bit of risk. <sighs> Stupid idiot. <laughs> no, I... I'm clearless. Wait, did you do something? Is that it? Like, a spell? Did you just do some magic on me that made me change my mind? Have you bewitched me? <laughs> Why are you laughing? And what does not in that way mean? Are there other ways to bewitch someone? I don't really know about magic and... Oh. Fuck. <sighs> That's 
what it is, isn't it? Phew. I... what it is. How did I know? I think... I think we should have one more night together. It's getting dark. Before we break through the edge of this forest, let's make camp. Sleep together. Whatever's waiting for us on the other side, I want to have shown you how much I love you before we face it. Fuck the camp. These leaves will do. <laughs>